What's up guys, Skid Rampage here. So today we do have a little bit of anime Funko news. We have a few delays to talk about. We do have a few restocks to talk about. We have new pops coming soon to Hot Topic and much more. So let's check it out. Alright guys, so today we do have a little bit of Funko news. So this one is going to be solely anime based. And guys, I do actually have a full anime pop update of everything so far coming soon and that includes like One Piece, Naruto, My Hero Academia, all of those. It's going to be kind of like how I do every two to three months a big anime pop update with every single anime pop that should be coming out that is known and has you know virtual backing and things like that. Anyways, there is going to be like a probably 20 to 30 minute video about that solely for anime coming soon, so stay tuned for that guys. Um, nonetheless, I also wanted to mention that today is my actual birthday. So like, like the video for my birthday. That's all I want, like the video. Anyways guys, let's get on with the actual Funko news. We do have a lot of stuff to go over. So I kind of wanted to touch up a little bit on some things I talked about um, about two days ago with um, some other anime news and things like that. So the first thing I want to talk about is Fire Force and Black Clover. So those pops were actually confirmed by Hot Topic Nerdette to be coming later on. Uh, she said soon, so that could be next year, that could be in a couple months. Soon is very vague. Now my best guess for Black Clover and its release date and all the pops in Black Clover should be somewhere in 2022 just because there were actual image of AOT pops going around, the new Attack on Titan ones with uh, Mikasa, um, Amir Titan, and uh, Berthold, and then also Eren. And all of those are supposed to be coming out according to Entertainment Earth Systems in 2022. And all of those images were actually all circling around together, so I was only assuming and using context clues that they might all be coming out in 2022, along with a few of the actual new Naruto pops. But those Naruto pops might actually be coming a little sooner, and then the release date actually be next year. So we could also possibly see Black Clover be revealed um, within the next two months, and then the actual release date would be somewhere in January to February of 2022. So that is my best guess using all the information that I do have. And here are the actual pops that are rumored and some confirmed that should be coming for the Black Clover line. We have Noel, Yuno, and Asta, and all of those are confirmed just because they are thrown up for a, a pre-order on various different sites, and I've shown you guys this in previous videos. So those are hard confirmed. As well, guys, as we do have uh, two rumor chases, Luck Voltia with Chase, as well as uh, Vanessa in Nateka, is that you say her last name, with Glow Chase. So we do have potential two chases coming soon. So again, guys, as far as those chases goes, those are rumors so far. Nonetheless, they should probably be coming because they are actually rumored by popular news accounts that are typically right with the Funko releases in the future. So I'd say at least one of these chases should actually be coming soon. So stay tuned, guys. And I know a lot of you guys are excited for Black Clover, but I'm at least glad that the commons are confirmed, especially by Hot Topic Nerdette. And we should be getting a look from her probably within the next two months if Funko doesn't reveal them themselves. Now guys, as stated, Fire Force is also confirmed by her and the ones that are in the Fire Force line include Arthur with Sword, Maki with Fire, which is supposed to be uh, an exclusive to some retailer, Shinro with Fire, uh, Maki, and then Iris. So again, Hot Topic Nerdette did confirm this actual line. As far as the actual ones that are confirmed are the commons. We haven't seen anything about the exclusives for a pre-order anywhere yet, and the commons, of course, I said Arthur with Sword, uh, Shinra with Fire, Maki, and Iris. And then the only exclusive so far known that should be a glow-in-the-dark exclusive, I believe, is Maki with Fire. So stay tuned on this Fire Force and Black Clover lines. When I get more information, I will update you guys, but I'm so glad they are hard confirmed. And I actually just watched the first episode of Fire Force the other day. It's actually really good. Next up, guys, the new Hunter Hunter Hot Topic exclusive Chase is actually delayed according to Hot Topic Nerdette's Periscope as well. So again, guys, we still don't know what this Hunter Hunter exclusive Chase for Hot Topic is going to be. The only hint that Hot Topic Nerdette gave us was that it was a chase that makes sense. Now, a few of you guys were saying that it could be Karapika with Scarlet Eyes, which that makes sense, a normal one. They could take the common, paint on Scarlet Eyes, and that'd be it. Or um, there's a few other characters that make sense, to, make sense to actually have a chase. So that's the only hint we're going with so far, but it is delayed as far as we know so far. So stay tuned on that, guys. Now we do have the newest exclusive Meruem uh, for Hunter x Hunter as well, which could possibly end up being some kind of chase variant for Hot Topic. That's more me kind of speculating. That's not hard confirmed, as well as Meruem isn't actually hard confirmed yet, but it is supposed to be an exclusive coming soon later on in the year. So maybe that could end up 
up being the chase. But comment down below, what do you think this Hunter Hunter chase is going to be? Next up, guys, it does appear that we do have a new Orin Host Club exclusive pop coming soon to Hot Topic. Now, there are a few rumors of it being Honey with Bun Bun um, from the actual popular show. Bailey's very excited about that. She wasn't able to get to the original pops just because with all the rumors of season two and things like that, it drove up the price a little bit of the pops. And also, they're all vaulted, so they started going up anyways. And they're all about $100 a piece, so it's like a $300 to a $350 set. It's very expensive. Eventually, maybe will she get them? Sure. But uh, I think this is a really good start. Hopefully, if it does actually come out, just because a lot of people are not able to afford those original pops. So a new exclusive coming out will actually drive those higher and create more hype because you know, a lot of people probably forgot about the line to begin with, and then they're going to search, oh, wait, there's more pops, and I want those, so driving up the price. So hopefully this exclusive does actually come. Again, rumored to be Honey with Bun Bun. Also, guys, it is actually delayed according to Hot Topic Nerdette, so um, we probably won't see this one for a little bit, maybe one to three months, we'll see. Nonetheless, guys, really exciting that we're getting more pops from this line. Next up, guys, we might be getting some sort of new One Piece exclusive pop in early 2022. So the only thing that is coming in early 2022 that I know of that I've seen um, from an Australian uh, retailer that said it was delayed was Zoro. So maybe we could possibly speculate that Zoro uh, from the Wano arc, Zoro Joro, could possibly end up being a Hot Topic exclusive last minute. It could still be a New York Comic Con exclusive. We could speculate that it could be anywhere. Uh, but with this, you know, being delayed until 2022, possibly, this pop is not just gone. It's coming back. Um, at least that's what I think. But nonetheless, guys, we have a new 2022 exclusive Hot Topic uh, One Piece pop. And then Zoro's delayed till 2022, according to multiple retailers. So I feel like, you know, too many things are kind of aligning. Now, this could be completely far off. Again, I'm just speculating. Or it could be something else in the actual line, because we do have a few new One Piece pops coming soon, uh, which actually include... Um, Eustace Kid with a Chase and then Kaido Deluxe. So those two could possibly be exclusives to Hot Topic maybe, and maybe they're just delayed a little bit. Who knows? But those were actually found in an actual um, vendor system as well. So those should actually be coming, which is very exciting for One Piece fans. But yes, Kaido Deluxe could just be a Hot Topic exclusive six inch pop. And then the Eustace Kid Chase could just be a Hot Topic exclusive with a Chase variant. So, you know, this could be any of those three, or it could be something completely different. When I get more information, though, I will let you guys know. Also, for One Piece, guys, it does look like Big Apple Collectible Shanks is delayed. So, um, Bugabug, I think that's your username on Instagram, actually uh, reached out and, st and actually showed me this on um, his actual account. And then I checked my account, and I actually did realize, yes, it is delayed until September 17th. So, this actually does suck because this. This was supposed to come out in August. I am unaware if Big Apple Collectibles has updated anyone on any of their social medias. I didn't see it on Instagram. I don't follow them on Twitter, but I reached out on Instagram and messaged them. I was like, hey, is Shanks delayed? And they did not message me back. They ignored my message. So anyways, that sucks, um, but I guess they're not going to make it public knowledge that he is delayed, so I will. Um, he does have a small little delay. I'm hoping this is the only delay, but he should be coming soon just because it's already showing up internationally according to Funko Fantasy posting pictures of him and the actual Chase variant. So if anything, it's just a small delay and we should see it within a month and a half. And I'm very excited about this one. So Big Apple, come on, inform people. What are you doing? Next up, guys, we do have the Demon Slayer Hot Topic exclusive Tanjiro with Mask exclusive is actually delayed. It is delayed, but it is coming according to Funko Pop News. Um, so that does suck to actually hear. I was able, never able to actually order this one originally. I do have the rest of them on order, but I was never able to order this one just because it's sold out extremely fast day of. Um, does suck but I would expect an online restock to come sometime when the actual order starts shipping out or maybe slightly before. Uh, restocks are just so random that it's really hard to gauge when an actual restock will come. Nonetheless, guys, I know a lot of you are excited for this one. I'm sorry to tell you that there is a delay on it, but it is coming soon. Next up, guys, we obviously did get the new Asuma Hot Topic exclusive pop, which is very, very exciting just because he looks great. Um, absolutely love that they decided to make a new character for Naruto and love that this rumor actually turned out to be true because this was rumored almost like five months ago so this is awesome so that means that actually
actual new wave that I teased to you guys a while back should be coming uh, with Mike Guy, Kid Naruto, Madara Six Path, um, and then a few others. Uh, nonetheless, guys, this is an updated actual picture that I added in editing um, before I even posted that other video because I showed you guys the blurry pictures from the Nerdette screen. Um, and this is an updated picture that she posted on Inst or Twitter, excuse me. And he looks great. He has his knives in hand. If he had chakra all around him, I think that would look great. Obviously, um, a lot of people wanted him to have his cigarette in his mouth. And somebody actually informed me in the comments that this is after he stopped smoking. This is where, uh, in a point in the actual anime, where he decided to stop smoking. So that's probably why he doesn't have one. I think it was just a matter of the actual time frame of when the actual show was taking place, and he just stopped smoking at that time. Nonetheless, guys, this is a really awesome Hot Topic exclusive. I'm very excited to add it to my set. Next up, guys, the new My Hero Academia Bakugo Hot Topic exclusive should actually be coming in about two weeks, which is really awesome, according to Funko Pop News on Instagram. That's really amazing. I can't wait to see this new one in person and compare it to my SDCC Bakugo. There are really small differences, but nonetheless, I'm sure a lot of people are excited. Uh, for those who weren't able to afford an SDCC Bakugo, still kind of a matter of time in terms of what it might do to SDCC Bakugo's actual value, given it's so similar. And a lot of people are going to go for this new Hot Topic exclusive because it is significantly cheaper and very similar to the, um, the original exclusive pop. So... I'm actually curious to see where the value lands on this. But anyways, guys, in two weeks, we should see this actual Bakugo. And if anything changes, I'll let you know. All right, guys, so the last thing I do want to talk about in this video is a ton of restocks for anime and animation that are coming soon. So the first thing I do want to go over is Blue Spirit Zuko. So this one actually did recently go online about a, maybe three weeks ago now probably almost three weeks ago now, did go online, the order shipped out really fast, and in-store releases have actually started to uh, get everywhere just about. It just hit my store this morning, and I'm on the East Coast, so it's been about a week since it hit the original Hot Topic, which is awesome. Um, I was not able to actually go for that one because uh, Captain Pops texted me, and he was like, well, there's already 11 people in line, and there was only 10 chases available, so I was like, eh. So that sucks. Uh, nonetheless, guys, it's okay. I'll eventually get one. Um, but anyways, it is supposed to be restocking in December, possibly. Um, so if you are looking for this one and if you don't want to chase it down in store, expect a possible winter restock on this one. Next up, guys, for Fruits Basket, we do have possibly the whole wave restocking or maybe just the Hot Topic Kyo um, actually restocking in Hot Topic stores and online. Um, so they didn't give a time frame for this one, but expect it sometime in the next few months. Um, probably maybe around December as well or anywhere from October to December really. So there were no actual specifics on which actual character is restocking so it could be the entire wave of commons and the Hot Topic exclusive Kyo or it could just be Kyo Hot Topic so stay tuned. Next up guys for Attack on Titan obviously the Cleaning Levi and Rage Aaron Titan have been restocking actively um, just all over the place within the last two months and all of the orders actually did start showing up for Hot Topic uh, Rage Aaron Titan form um, um, within the last three weeks, I saw a lot for sale in my group and a lot for sale in other groups and things like that. Um, I haven't seen any cleaving, cleaning Levi orders come in yet, but if they have, let me know down below. I didn't reorder any of these, so I didn't know the specific release date for these. But the cleaning Levi and Aaron Titan form should be restocking in stores again later on in the year, possibly, as well as another online restock because they're actively restocking Hot Topic exclusives, obviously. And another one in the Attack on Titan line, guys, is Beast Titan, and this one should be restocking in stores relatively soon um, and I'm sure a lot of people are excited for that one so those are the three for Attack on Titan that should be restocking within the next month or two which is going to be very awesome another one for Naruto guys is we do have the flocked Kurama and that one should actually be restocking probably later on after a few uh, some of these just because that one recently all the orders should have came in within the last two months because it did have a massive restock and then it was delayed for about another month or two and then all the orders should come in because Bailey got her order and um, that's how that's what I'm basing off of. nonetheless we should be seeing another restock of flocked Kurama coming soon next up guys for any Death Note fans L with cake should be restocking soon as well um, I talked about this oof, maybe about a month ago I want to say that this one was restocking and we are seeing more news of it restocking fairly soon uh, so stay tuned for an in-store release and an online release I don't think I saw an online release uh, of a restock as of recent 
unless I missed it, but I'm pretty sure it has not restocked online yet. Um, but a lot of people are actually surprised about this one, and I myself, just because, yes, is it a Hot Topic exclusive, yes, the pop's about five years old, I want to say, but the rest of the wave is actually vaulted, even the um, common L. So I was really surprised that this one is not vaulted along with the rest of them, and I felt like it was really weird, but we should actually see a restock of this one soon, so stay tuned. And the last one I want to talk about for restocks, guys, is My Hero Academia's Mount Lady. This one should be hitting stores and restocking in about three weeks. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me about this one. I've had at least like 10 comments about it. Uh, I didn't have a hard release date for it or a hard potential date for it, so I didn't want to talk about it again until I did. So here's that actual news, and hopefully that answers your question. And I'm sure a lot of people will be excited about this and probably buy up a lot of the stock. I do actually still have mine from the original release when I unboxed it like two years ago. Did she come out? I think she came out in... 2019? I think she was a 2019 exclusive. I don't know. Someone let me know down below. But if you are excited about that one, let me know. All right, guys. So that was a little bit of an anime pop update. Again, I am having a big anime Funko Pop update coming of all the pops coming soon for various different lines. One Piece, Fairy Tale, Full Metal Alchemist, uh, Naruto, um, the uh, Fire Force, Black Clover. I'm going to update you guys on all of those things and everything like that. So make sure to stay tuned for that video. It's going to be a lot of fun and solely anime, which you guys love. Nonetheless, guys, if you did enjoy, please leave a like down below. I'd really appreciate it. Comment down below. What are you most excited about of everything releasing so far? I know I'm really excited about that Asuma Hot Topic exclusive. I am curious to see what the Oran Host Club pop looks like if it is, turns out to be honey, as well, guys, as some of the other restocks I talked about, some of the... Um, you know, the Attack on Titan and Fruits Basket, everything like that. That's all exciting. Can't wait to do hunt videos for those. And there's so much coming that I'm so excited for. The One Piece are going to be fun too. But yeah, guys, there's a lot of stuff going on. So make sure to comment down below what you're most excited about. Anyways, I want to say a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for supporting me and continuing to support me. I really do appreciate and love you guys for it. If you guys want to check out the Patreon, the link is always down below. I also want to tell you guys, make sure to check out the Facebook group. It's Buy, Sell, and Trade, and you can make a ton of friends, as well as be following my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, all at Skittle Rampage. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.